and God has been calling you to do something and you have refused to do it. It's time for those who name the name of God to suit up and show up. Put on the whole armor of God. We are in the midst of a supernatural war. It is a wake-up call to the church of Jesus Christ. Put on the whole armor of God. And why you're absolutely guaranteed to win if you wear it and doomed to lose if you don't wear it. Paul says, endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Fight the good fight of faith. We're more than conquerors through Christ who strengthens us. The outcome of the battle depends on God's performance. It does not depend upon your skill or your strength. He is full of grace and truth. He is of the Almighty, El Shaddai, the conqueror of death, hell, and the grave. He's the conqueror of sickness and death. Put on the whole armor of God. That is a command. It is not a request. It is for your benefit. Paul says endure hardness and that those demon powers will attack your mind and attack your body and attack your marriage and attack your finances and attack your children and attack your relationships and attack your church. You can only have one chance of survival. Put on the whole armor of God and fight back. There's going to be a winner and there's going to be a loser. And to the winner goes the prize of our children and our great-grandchildren for generations to come. This is a war between light and darkness. It's a war between good and evil. It's a war between Christ and Antichrist. In this war, you will demonstrate courage or cowardice. If discipline is a must in the arts and in athletics, why isn't discipline a must in the kingdom of God? It's time for those who name the name of God to suit up and show up. This supernatural war is a fight to the finished. It's not until you get tired or you get weary. We're not doing this in our strength. We're doing it in God's strength. I'm telling you, you will never live a day of victory. You will never have a day of joy or a day of spiritual peace until you totally obey. We know that we have passed from death unto life because he's the conqueror from Calvary. He's the lion of the tribe of Judah. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand. Oh, well, I never. The devil doesn't bother me, and I don't bother the devil. Let me tell you something. We're doing something a little bit more important. It's a war against believers. The cross was a covenant relationship where Christ brought us all together. Father, let us see the reality of this spiritual war. Let us put on the whole armor and win it in Jesus' name. This is God's fight, it's not yours. It's God's victory, it's not yours. It's God's glory, it's not yours. It's God's kingdom, it's not yours. It's God's strength, it's not yours. Put on the whole armor of God and fight, and fight to win. This is a wake up call for the church in America. For this is a day of battle. Hear the battle cry. Put on the whole armor of God. Every part of this armor is designed to give you total protection in the day of battle. This is a fight to the finish, and I intend to win it with the help of Almighty God. For the victorious armor of the Lord Jesus Christ, advance and conquer in the authority of His name.